this show 100% sucked. <laughs> All right, so he's not talking about me. He's not talking about me. He's talking about the fishing show. The Houston fishing show, he said it 100% sucked, and Chris was not allowed to use that word. So he's in trouble. Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing, and today I have my son Christopher with me today. Hey, what's up, guys? All right, so over the last 10 to 12 months, I've got a lot of comments and a lot of questions from a lot of you guys, a lot of the viewers and a lot of subscribers. Now, some of the comments and some of the questions have been, you know, very productive and, and good comments, good questions, asking me how I do something or or how I'm, I fish for a certain fish or just simply what's going on in the video. Now, some of the other comments, and I wouldn't say questions, I guess some were questions, but they were a little less productive, I guess you would say. And, well, we're going to read some of those as well. And Christopher hasn't seen any of these comments, and I kind of wanted to get, I wanted to get his take and his response. You know, he just turned ten years old, so I want to get some of his response and kind of see what he thinks and how he would would reply to some of the questions. Because honestly, some of them are so out there that I'm kind of puzzled, and uh, and I really don't know how to reply to some of them either. But anyway, so let, let's move forward. Um, I have Christopher read some of these questions. The first one is... I wish I was able to fish with someone so no knowledgeable. I assume he's talking about me. Maybe he's talking about somebody else I fish with. But, you know, the only thing I have to say to that, if you're new to kayak fishing, new to fishing, new to boat fishing, any type of fishing, the only thing I can say is... Watch YouTube videos, right? There's a lot of how-to instructional how stuff on YouTube. How to do pretty much everything. Everything, right? I mean, not just fishing, but everything. But also, try to pair yourself up. Join one of these Facebook groups. There's a lot of Facebook groups out there. Join one of the Facebook groups and open yourself up a little bit and make some friends and get on the water with somebody. Um, unfortunately, you know, I would love to. I wish I could fish with every single person, but unfortunately... When I'm on the water, I am there to do a job. I'm there to make a video, so it's, it kind of makes it a little hard to do a lot of meet up and to meet up with people, random people, and be able to fish because I'm I'm really out there for you guys, for the viewers. So it kind of it's kind of hard and difficult at times to try to fish with somebody and record at the same time. All right, I really hope you don't get sick, man. Shaking everybody's hand like nothing. This was in the Fish Expo, Got Fish Expo in Galveston Fairgrounds. When you shook everyone's hand. Right. I go around. I'm sorry. I'm old school. You know, I grew up. I'm I'm generation I'm generation X, you know, kind of hardworking, blue collar people. I look people in the eyes, I shake their hand. I know right now with COVID, there's a lot of scary stuff going on. Um, but in my defense, I did carry around hand sanitizer. Uh, I would put it on in between and of course I always clean my and sanitize my equipment and I was very conscious not to touch my face or put my fingers in my mouth or anything like that he's like the cleanest man I've ever met <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a germaphobe you know I just no. keep it I just keep it clean you know I'm not I mean I don't know what to say you know fist bumping's cool but I'm, I'd much rather shake somebody's hand and uh, the elbow thing is no. Yeah, I don't. That's like a chicken wing. I don't do the yeah. chicken chicken wing. They do the elbow thing. <laughs> I feel less of a person now. Me too. Does Captain Cody um do characters? What charters? Do charters? Seems like a great guy to get hooked up with. You know, Captain Cody is is he good? A good guy? Christmas fish yeah. with Cody. Is he real knowledgeable? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, he he. He does charters. He does guided trips out of Sea Star Base Galveston, and Sea Star Base Galveston is a nonprofit organization. So when you do take a charter out of that, the proceeds from the charter minus the gas and the the bait and whatever else the cost is, the proceeds go back into that nonprofit. So you should check him out online. I will leave leave his link in the description sec section below. You can hit him up on Facebook. If you don't, there's also an email down there. And his email address, but yes, he does charters. Super, super knowledgeable guy. Can't say enough good nice things about him. Agreed. What What about deep fried fish? Come on, man, they taste like chicken nuggies. 
You still won't eat fish cooked like that. All right. Okay. Catch and cook, right? <laughs> everybody wants to do a catch and cook. Everybody wants to see me do I don't know if everybody wants to. I know I've had those comments of catch and cooks. And, you know, I've had a few people make that comment and suggestion. Hey, man, you got to make a video of you eating some redfish. Come on, man. For your YouTube fans, eat some fish. Smiley face. We know you don't eat fish, but just one with a little ones. And time, come on. They taste like chicky nuggies. Chicky nuggies. <laughs> we need a catch, clean, and cook. Sucks how you don't ever cook any of the fish. H e double l. I can't say. He won't. He will, he, he's not allowed. I don't even see you take home any fish. I'm starting to think you don't even eat fish. He doesn't eat any fish. All right, it's not okay. Let me clarify this. Okay, I've eaten fish before. Right? I mean, I've gone on a handful of cruises, and I've eaten uh, my mai, mai. I eat, I've eaten, you know, nice fish in good restaurants. I eat calamari, fried squid. I'll eat um, some, you know, fried shrimp. I like coconut shrimp. And I don't eat seafood a lot, though. I just don't. I, I prefer to eat meat. Like, I always joke around and say the only seafood I eat is chicken. But it's true. That's... To me, to take the fish out and harvest it, to kill the fish and take the fish out of the population and take the fish from being able to reproduce is just not worth it. I'd just rather go eat, you know, a steak, a burger, pizza. Pizza tastes better than fish. And when he does eat seafood, he always forgets to bring his GoPro and watch. People can watch you. Right, but okay, so we're going to do a catch and cook. We're going to go do it right now. So Christopher and I are going to go hit the water. No, I'm just joking. Just, We're not doing it right now. But we might do it next time. <laughs> you know. Next time we go out. I told somebody all I eat is farm-raised fish. I only eat Pepper's Farm go fish. <laughs> hey, bro, you ever consider kayaking with some of your subscribers, like a meetup? You know, I've, I've scheduled a couple different meetups. One fell through. Another one worked out. I met some great people out there. A few of my friends, actually they're friends now, but but no, I, I'm going to do a meetup pretty soon. I'm going to wait to the tail end of summertime, and we're going to try to do a meetup before the weather gets, before we start falling back in, in colder temperatures. But no, a meetup is fun. I, I, I enjoy doing meetups, and I enjoy getting out there on water. But like I said, it's kind of tricky sometimes, but um, we're going to do a meetup. I've been asked that several times, and, and I really need to schedule one. Before uh, summer goes bye-bye. Yeah, before summer goes away. Moving on, let's let's get some good comments. Let's get some there's some funny ones. There's some mean ones because we let's face it, you know, there's a lot of keyboard cowboys out there, a lot of Karens out there, a, a lot, lot of haters, a lot of haters, a lot of people just think that no matter what I'm doing or no matter what someone is doing in it's front wrong. of the camera, it's, bad. it's wrong. If you're not doing it their way, then you're doing it the wrong way, which we all know that's not a case. There's a million different ways. To do a hundred different things, right? All right, so moving on. Christopher, don't read any profanity. If there's profanity, you can just spell out the word or just okay. point at it. There we go. Great, that's not a great sign. Do not give your fish away to other people if you're not going to eat it. Let it live, let it live, let it live to have babies. Respect life. I do respect life. Like I said before, I love releasing fish. The amount of conservation that I've done no other YouTube does it no other YouTube youtuber YouTube channel nobody else does what what we do here on this channel what I do here on this channel with the shore cleanups I mean all that plastic when it breaks down and it goes into the soil it becomes toxic and it kills fish and so the amount of fish that we have saved through saltwater so shore patrol and the amount of wildlife that we have saved, fishing line, nets, all this stuff that I have removed over the last two, two and a half years, hundreds and hundreds of pounds. But not only that, the amount of time that I spent volunteering in, at Sea Star Base Galveston and teaching anglers how to, how to, the true way to fish and conserve and teach them the right way and the wrong way to handle fish and take care of fish, trust me. Not to mention 
I never keep fish. I don't. If I'm fishing with my buddy and he wants to eat and he says he's hungry and he needs some fish for his freezer or my aunt or my mother-in-law or somebody wants some fish, I'm going to yeah. bring them home. Yeah. Why are y'all killing so many trout? Treat trout like we treat bass. You don't believe in catch and release sometimes. That's why we have a five trout limit now. And only keep that, keep what you can eat. And never kill trout or any fish to give to other people, only family. Okay, he didn't, like he already said, he doesn't eat that much seafood. So why are you saying this? All right, so in this video, I remember this video. I was fishing with my friend Billy Ray and Cody. And if you know trout, a lot of times there's a schooling and there are birds working. So we're literally trying to get our lines out there as fast as we can. And I have the camera, so I'm recording. So I'm covering the footage of Billy Ray bringing the trout in. Now the trout pops off and lands at my feet. So I pick the trout up. It's a small little undersized trout. I pick the trout up, look at it, and throw it back in the water. So I think that person's under the impression that we were just killing all the trout, letting all the trout just sit on the boat and it just kept going. And that was not the case at all. I think it was a big mullet. WTF. Maybe the dumbest thing I've ever heard a grown man say. My 10-year-old know better. His 10-year-old know better. Okay, can I rip this? If you want. All right, so I think it was a big mullet. Now, that he's quoting me because throughout the day, we've been seeing big mullets boil. We've been seeing big mullets boil. Now, if you're in shallow water and you see a mullet that is at least 12 inches, they'll kick up a lot of cloud. They'll kick up a cloud. They'll kick up a nice boil. And sometimes you can misconstrue them with being a redfish. So I was seeing these big boils. I, st I still cast at it. And I popped my cork. And I had a big red on. And I, the, the hook pulled. And I said, dang, I was thinking there were big mullets which they were on the surface the leader line that I had was almost three feet long so I was getting and I was in about four feet of water so I was getting a red that was on bottom so that really wasn't something dumb to say because we've been seeing them all day and not only that you know the guy ends up going on and telling me that from my camera angle I should be able to tell what a mullet is and what a red is but if you ever use the GoPro and looked at the footage from a GoPro and what you actually see versus a GoPro, that angle is very, very misconstrued. I mean, it is hard to be able to tell the distance when you're looking through a GoPro lens or the footage you see when you're watching on YouTube. So it's, I don't know how anybody, when I see it with my eye and they're seeing it with the GoPro lens, I don't see how anybody could argue the fact that they have a better vantage point than what I see. I'm just just saying. Okay, this is something that, all right, if you're watching this, then thank you for being a hater and a Karen. And here's some hater fatty for you. Hater fatty. As soon as I heard you curse the Lord's damn, I stopped watching and gave you a thumbs down. He never does that. He, we are re we believe in God, so why would he, we ever do that? Jonathan did it. Ah. So my cousin that's out there with me, he said Jesus, right? Or I don't even think he said Jesus. I think he said Jesus. And apparently that's the Lord's name in vain. And I even looked it up. And I have another cousin who's actually a pastor. And I asked him about that. And, you know, he had a comment that he left, and or he had a reply that he left to this person. And kind of just told him, you know, pretty much if you're trying to win someone to Christ, sitting on your high horse isn't the way to do it. Um, and honestly, you know, I don't <laughs> I don't hate you for giving me a thumbs up or telling me anything like that because it's your opinion. But it's, I go out of my way. I go out of my way to keep profanity out of the channel. And I go out of my way to leave this information and leave any of this content family friendly because my son watches this, his friend watches his nephew nieces my mother i mean i'm not trying to drop anything like that in this channel 
and I'm not even too sure how I left that clip in there. Typically, I probably would have taken it out. All of this is completely wrong and BS. All right, so I was talking about how to catch fish and how to fish off reefs and how to fish drop off points and how to fish during the winter time and areas you want to target and fish. And apparently, I mean, a lot of times when I do these videos, I know in my mind the areas I target. But I also back it up with research. I get on the computer, I'll read articles, I'll read professional anglers articles and blogs to make sure I'm not off base because the last thing I want to do is mislead you guys and tell you something that I think is right and come find out that I'm just way wrong. Maybe I just got lucky those few times where I've done something. So I, I, I will do my research. I will make sure that I'm not going to mislead anybody. So maybe that person has a different method. I don't know. All right. Uh, a symbol, Texas all water fishing, go out to the base. Go to pay more attention to major minor times. All right, and this is the same, this is the same type of video where this person is telling me that what I'm doing is wrong. So during the winter time, the fish aren't in the mud trying to get warmth. They're not hanging around the oysters. They're not at drop offs. They're not in the grass lines. When I was talking about sometimes when it's slow bite and how you have to target those areas a little more and spend a little more time and fish slower this person is telling me that i need to i need to use my fishing app more because they've had fishing apps around since the beginning of time and that's probably how anglers and real fishermen do it they use their fishing app and pay attention to the highest bite count the highest forecasted bite count area and and fish within that timeline where you're gonna have a major bite feed because that's always accurate, not actually fishing a drop off or fishing around oysters or fishing grass lines, but using an app is the only way you should be fishing. Yeah, no, no. U, U S U C K, fishing that is. I suck at fishing. You know, I don't I do not claim to be a good fisherman. Hater fatty. I'm an average guy. I'm an average fisherman that spends a lot of time on the water. That's it. The more I cast, the more probability I have to hook up. The more hours I spend on the water, the more chances I have to catch a fish. You can ask anybody that goes out there with me. They will tell you I I rarely stop to do anything. I cast and cast and cast and cast till my arm falls off. I don't stop. All right. What eyeliner do you use? <laughs> All right. All right. So great content, y'all. Fish Pierce Marsh. Marsh? He's asking if we fished a certain marsh. Oh. All right. So help me out, please. I've been seen. A lot of video of flounders getting caught at that location. I'm from Beaumont. Beaumont. Beaumont, and would love to go to Galveston to catch flounders. I knew I said the city or whatever wrong. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So ne next we have so West Bay. What subdivision is that in the background? Bay Harbor, Jamaica Bay. Or were you facing the mainland? I hear so much about the marsh. Where is it? I'm a big fan of your videos. I'm from Houston and kayak fish in the Galveston, Matagorda. Matagorda. In Sargent what? area. Yeah, Sargent, Texas. Do you mind sharing where you were in this vid? Fish on. And then the next one is, mind to share where y'all launched that bud? Then next is, where were you fishing at exactly? I did not catch it. Keep up the great work. And then geographically, where are those spots that you show on this video? Texas City. Texas City? Where in Gaveston are you fishing? What, what marsh is this? Looks like y'all had a blast. Which area were y'all fishing? This is a lot of, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? 
that is like one of the most questions I'm asked. And I recently recently went with a friend of mine fishing, Mike from Texas Fishing Force, and I asked him if he gets that those questions a lot as well. And he said that is the most common question he gets. Um, I asked him, well, how do you answer it? Because really, I don't, right. I don't know how to reply to these kind of questions because I'm not going to burn anybody's spot. I'm not going to give up a location where I'm fishing. And I'm not going to send somebody to a location that you are fishing. Yeah. I mean, if you're fishing in Pierce Marsh or if you're fishing around uh, Harbor Walk or if you're fishing around you know some of these points and coves or or any spot like that you don't want to give up your spot to pretty much the whole entire world i'm not going to tell everybody on youtube where to come catch fish yeah. i'm i'm just not what 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 i would do instead was i will tell you what i'm doing out here i'm telling you what's working because odds are if it's working at this location here it's working five miles down the waterway it's working 10 miles further into the marsh it's working in the different marsh maybe it's a freeport marsh i'm fishing or maybe it's a galveston marsh i'm fishing and it's gonna the same kind of technique the same kind of hatchery the same kind of bait that is going on is gonna be going on in there so matching the hatch using the techniques fishing around the same kind of structure grass lines all that's gonna work the same now i know well, well that's where the fish are you know you wherever you caught the fish that's where the fish are so that's where i want to go I, I understand that completely. I understand that totally. But I'm not going to give up somebody's spot. Yep. I'm just not. I'm going to be respectful to those guys that have put in the hours, put in the years, and grinded it out and found a spot. So we're sorry. If you want to know, we can't give up because it could be someone else's spot. And we yeah. Just, yeah. I'm just not going to send 15, 20 people to go f at the same launch. So we're sorry for y'all that asked a question where we can't answer it. We're I mean, sorry. I appreciate I appreciate yeah. you watching. I appreciate you subscribing. Thank you for the thumbs up. I, I appreciate all the interaction I've had with everybody so far. But it, like I said, it's just not something I'm not going to, I'm just not going to say. But, you know, on that note, Chris, I, I had fun, you know, reading back every comment. You know, I mean, I know we, we probably, maybe we got a little more negative than I normally would get. Yeah. But it's hard to when you don't see stuff like this, right? When you see stuff like this, it's kind of hard to um, keep it in, you know, in a certain light or certain aspect, you know. And, and I just wanted to share with you guys some of the weird and wacky and funny comments. And trust me, this wasn't all of them. Hateful comments. Yeah, this wasn't all of them. I get a lot. and This I, is just a little peek out. Well, all the comments we get. A, a little taste. But you know what? I hope you enjoyed this segment, you know, reading the comments back and interacting with you guys. I know I had fun. Thanks, Christopher, for um, reading. Thanks, Christopher, for reading and, and, and help me out and help me co-host this one. Oh, well, Chris, you have any final words for everybody out there in YouTube land? All right. So I have a couple. Please subscribe and like this video. Please don't thumbs it down. It, and please press that little notification bell to know whenever we put out a next video. And thank you very much for your comments, whether they were positive or negative. Sometimes you guys crack me up. And hopefully next time you catch me hooking up. Thanks. Bye.